Hello friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel TechIsHub. So this video is all about how, can we, how we can set up the Excel report for MS Test Framework. So we can use the same uh, setup for a unit and X unit, but you have to uh, just uh, make sure that you are uh, placing the method in the correct fixtures because the test fixtures are different for all the three uh, different kind of frameworks. So for this uh, uh, video, I have already added the NuGet package for the extend report from Anshu Arora and the version is 4.0.3. So I have two classes, one to set up the report and the other for my test. So this is my uh, 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 class for the setting up the report. So I have the extend report and extend test already uh, set up uh, and the objects are already created. And then I am uh, initializing the uh, extend report. Then I'm trying to create a directory to which where we can save it. So this that path will be the uh, folder where I'm uh, saving the uh, report and the file name should be something like test execution underscore reports plus test case name. So I will just uh, let you know how I get the test case name in the, <laughs> in the later. And then I am uh, uh, deciding which report I have to uh, select. So there are two kind of report. One is the extend HTML report and another is the extend v3 HTML report. So I will start with extend HTML report. And when I create the object of it, I am passing the directory path inside that, which I have created here. And then I am configuring the theme. And finally, I am attaching it the, this HTML report to the object that I have created here. So that's pretty much about the uh, configuring the extend report. So moving to the test test that I have. So I have two tests. So one we will add two digits and one for will pass the test and the second will fail the test. And also I am making use of that class test context. So what the test context does is like it is used to get the information of the unit test that we are running. So like if I use test context or test name, it will give me the test case name. And I am passing this test case name as the one of the input parameter to the report logger and that will be appended to the test report name. So that's pretty much about the basic setup that we have to do. And the final thing is that I have the test initialize and the test cleanup. So in the test cleanup only, when I run the extend.flash, I'll be creating the report. So I will be uh, running one scenario. So I am running the scenario with the extend HTML reporter. So if I run one script, so that's a report already uh, created with the earlier execution. <coughs> so now you can see uh, reports got generated. So this is one of the, uh, this is, these are the report that we uh, get when we run the extend HTML report. It will have an index and the dashboard. So if I open the dashboard.html, so this is the report that you will be getting. You can see one test and two steps and it will have some graphs and all those things. So if you click on the step, you will be getting that the step like this. So the new Excel report has a feature called a uh, parent and not concept. So I will explain you that like here. So you can see I have mentioned the parent as the test case name. So you can see the parent will be the test case name. And then I am creating a node. So that node is provide parameters one. So whatever actions you do under this node that will be coming as the sub nodes. So you can see this is the provide parameters. So you can see it is the ex child test, which is created from ex a parent. So I'll just reiterate again. So ex parent is equal to that I have created a test with my test case name. So that is this test. Then I am creating a child with provide parameters. So this is the child that I have created. And whatever logs that I create under that child, it will be coming as sub nodes. Like you can see, provide parameters. I have one step detail pass. So when we can use it, like you are creating a, a client or something. So you can have this as create client and whatever that comes under that can be logged under this create client like enter the uh, client name. 
under the client description so those if those are considered as one step then that can be considered under this uh, parent okay once that is done i have created another node for add parameters to so that will be coming here and then whatever that i put under that child it will be displayed as all those things so that's about how the report gets generated in the extent test okay, so so that's about the html reporter so now i have uh, done some modifications and the report will be little bit uh, then the feature of the report will be little bit different when i use the extend v3 html reporter so i am just changing the reporter type to extend v3 html reporter So everything remains the same and the other thing that I'm going to do is I have some setup so actually if you can see when you run the extend test case pass and if you click on the output you don't see anything else you can only see the uh, console output here so I am just enabling couple of different uh, piece of code that I have already written so when I uncomment this piece of code When I uncomment this piece of code, you can see the test will be having a little bit extra features. So I have uh, commented that also. Now I will just uh, run the same test case. Okay, so the test execution is completed. And if I go to the report, so you can see that now I am getting a report. So you can see I have the test case name appended to it, and I can see that now it is passed or failed. So I don't want to open the HTML and see whether it is passed or not. With the uh, report name itself, I can find out whether it is passed or failed. So these are some of the extra features that we had that I have added but uh, the rest remains the same like I have the past one and all those things are coming just the way it is and the report looks a little bit uh, better now so that's about the extend report uh, when we do it uh, with the HTM, uh, extend v3 html reporter and one more thing I have to add if I click on the output now I can see the report here itself as an attachment so earlier when we do we have to go through the folder and you have to select it so we can have it in, uh, there so i am making use of the test context class that i have created to add it to the output so when i do test context dot add result file and the file it will be coming in the output here and you will have to click it and you can uh, get the file and if you want to add the screenshot so that's also possible so you have to add one piece of code like you have to make use of this media entity builder so, so that's a class and then you have to create the uh, screen uh, capture from the path so if i run uh, this failed test case so that that got failed Just one second. Okay. Have to just enable the report here. Okay, you can see that code failed. And if I click on the output so i can see that this is a test case name and it is failed so if i click on the report from here the report will open and if i go to add parameters if i scroll down i will get a link like this so if i click on the link i will get the screenshot so it's as simple as that you will get a screenshot wherever you, uh, wherever you put that piece of code and you can just access the screenshot from here so that's all about uh, how we can attach the screenshot and all those things so 
and if you have more than one or two test cases uh, then how can we get the report in this similar fashion so so then we will have to make some changes to that so we will be uh, removing the report logger uh, method calling from all the test method instead of that we will be having it in the assembly initialize itself so it will only run once and the same way we will be commenting some piece of code and we will be having assembly cleanup where we will be uh, generating the code so I will show this for extend uh, reporter because for extend v3 reporter we have to do some modifications but extend html reporter will find work, uh, work uh, without any changes so what i did is i have removed the method calling from the individual uh, test and i have called it in the assembly initially so it will be only run once and the extend dot flash will be only run once okay and i am just selecting these two test cases and i'm just running it Okay, so it, it ran and if I check the report okay so the report got generated and if I open my report so you can see two tests one test pass and one test fail and if I go to my test you can see the test case uh, first test case it failed with the screenshot and the second test case it passed so this is how you can um, actually bundle all the test into one consolidated report it will be much easier if you want to send it to business rather than sending all the uh, individual test but if you are running it from Azure DevOps then it will be always better to have individual test cases so that when you associate a test with the with the script so that uh, report will be updated to that individual test only so that's pretty much all about how we can configure extend html report extend v3 html report and how we can combine multiple uh, reports into one report thank you for watching the video have a good day bye